Okay, so to wrap up, um, I want to go over with you guys discussing frustration and frustration in the saddle and how the solution for that is always curiosity and asking questions. We want to become students as well as teachers and keeping this really neutral inquisitive mindset keeps us excited about the sport even when we're feeling like we're out of answers it keeps us searching for something i know it keeps me up at night googling things on my phone um, looking for a way to do things better looking for a way to be better for my horse um, to excite my horse to get my horse interested again and it really i think leads us into becoming more independent as well um, I, even as an Olympian, as a top level rider, I still take lessons on a very regular weekly basis, multiple times a week if I can. I like to get instruction, I like to have feedback, and even some of my clients who are in regular programs maybe don't find themselves riding on their own very often. It's maybe something they don't feel confident in doing. And I would encourage you to find that time to be by yourself with your horse because I think without your own voice in your ear rather than your coach's voice in your ear, you tend to listen more than you tend to ask questions. So you might find that that time you spend by yourself leads you to have questions that you can ask your trainer during your next session or questions that you can write down that you can do some research on and start to find solutions to your own problems. Now remember those solutions might not be the right one for you or the right one for your horse but giving it a try and as long as you approach it in a fair way if it doesn't work out or if you feel your horse didn't respond properly you go back to that drawing board you make another note you try another solution the horses will let you try and will let you learn all day long In this masterclass through these courses, you'll hear my voice and it's honestly, I'm talking to you guys, but it's an internal dialogue I have with myself on a regular basis while I'm riding. I try to talk myself through what I'm feeling, what I'm going to apply from my aids to try to improve what I'm feeling, to try to improve what my horse's reaction is to that aid. And I try to be extremely deliberate with what I do so that I have a plan of action if that goes exactly as planned and if it goes off course how am I going to react before I ever touch my horse with my leg touch my horse with my rein touch the horse with the whip or the spur I want to have that self-control where I pause and I have a plan versus reacting because our reactions initially tend to be super emotional. So if a horse kicks out at my leg or they, they get angry when I touch them with the whip, I want to already have talked to myself about that reaction. So if it happens, when it happens, I'm not surprised. I wait for the reaction of the horse, the emotional reaction of the horse to pass. And when the horse is reasonable in a way in his mind where he can accept another question, I will pose that question again. Um, it just keeps me really focused on task and lets the horses also um, express their feelings in a way where they don't feel like they're not allowed to also be independent creatures. So if you watch some of these exercises and you went back to your horse and you tried them and maybe they didn't go as planned, I want you to try your best not to be discouraged. Try to see every time it doesn't go as planned as something that you tried and you still got a reaction. For me, the reaction is the positive place. So when the horses are giving us different behaviors, even if they're not ideal, even if they're maybe considered naughty, even if they maybe get a little bit out of hand, the horse is still expressing, expressing a reaction to my question. So we wanna be super, super careful that we don't stop this behavior of the horse of reacting because eventually that horse, if we do this well, the horse will narrow down their selection process and start to choose the right answer every time, right? Process of elimination. And remember, we never attack the negative behavior. We simply wait for the horse to be in a place to accept the learning again and pose the question and we help them find that right answer. But until that happens, understand their guessing right it's going to be this huge pool of of questions right they're going to throw another question back at me as the rider because they don't know so um, it's just them trying to learn and and be a horse right they're going to react in a way that is natural for them 
Okay, go ahead. You guys are free. Try these exercises. Keep track of how they go in your workbook and come back with questions.